Hello, Actor Sage here on the Sage channel, and today a little update came out for Medieval Engineers. Space Engineers has yet to update for me, so I'm going to go ahead and record this and put this up in my channel as quick as possible. And this update brought us a few interesting things, but first off, it has brought us a structural integrity change. So this lovely fortress in front of you, I'm going to go ahead and reload this map with structural integrity turned on, and you will see a few things happen. Alrighty, so back in here with structural integrity turned on and instantaneously you see, well, a lot of buildings committing suicide. The far right building there, which used to only missing, be missing a single block that kept breaking itself in the previous version of the game, has now completely collapsed under its own weight, as you would expect with that big bit sticking out. And you will notice a few things had went kaput over here on the main building. Doesn't look so bad unless we start flying inside. Let's see, any more damage? No, this building is actually mostly still here. Strangely enough, these areas... Oh, no, there was a floor here before, I think. Yes, and another floor here, and, a, and an arch. Yeah, we've had some stuff failing in here, so building didn't quite fare as well as I would have hoped. Moving up these stairs, which I appear to be stuck on. There we go. Let's go ahead and get up to the very top of this building. We'll start talking about some other changes that have been in this update. Not just the fact that structural integrity has changed a bit and cost me a few buildings. Let's go ahead and land right here. And the first thing we're going to look at is just the new blocks they've added. So you can see where I've just scrolled down to. We have a bunch of stuff. I've done the shift four to get to the last toolbar. And we're just going to go ahead and replace everything I have on this toolbar with the new stuff. So let's start from the left go to the right shall we right now it looks like all of these blocks can be pasted wherever you like with not really any consideration to what looks or seems right even though you could think of possible uses of having a chair sticking out of a wall like this as maybe some sort of way of creating a basic barricade or if you're charging the legs of the chair might spike you in the chest or something but very strange, um, not exactly ideal, and I suspect a lot of these will change. They just wanted to get the blocks in, that way we wouldn't all be building large, empty buildings as everything here has been. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this over. The chair itself is a pretty nice little thing. We're going to in the spectator, that way I can take a closer look at it. And you see, it's a pretty simple, straightforward little chair, but A, it does have structural integrity on it as well, at least in the way that it can break apart. So I should say it has a fracturing. Also, they have new projectiles, so you see our normal medium projectile thrower we now have one with 10 times the mass as well as our large one and a large one with 10 times the mass so i'm really quickly i'm going to go ahead and use this and i'm going to destroy a chair and you can see the chair has been well completely annihilated as you ex expect it was just an innocent little chair we can also paste if we're pasting to another chair do a click and drag and make a chair wall structural integrity on this does not exist in the way that too much weight up top will bring it crashing down because I don't think they really intended people to be building with it. Mind you though, it is separated from the ground there. So now the whole thing's falling. We nearly had a bridge and now it's fallen all the way to the ground and we can go ahead and just smash it up. As comparison, using the normal large stone, we can go ahead and throw that at these as well. Mind you, this is such a light thing. It would probably all crumble anyway. So a better demonstration would be this wall here, charged up and fire. Huge chunk torn out of the wall instantly. Charge it up and fire. Huge chunk torn out of the wall right now, instantly. Not sure I fired this X1 there. And a bit of lag, I guess, because here is this wall trying to crumble apart while part of it is actually stuck into the stone wall behind it. Let's go ahead and fire another one of these. Oh, and it looks like somehow this structural integrity is bombarded and twisted its way all the way down here and caused a bit more of an issue. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I didn't expect to see, I don't know. Structural integrity can be, oh my God. Well, there goes that place. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix this to make it work with structural integrity on. I'm going to have to restart my castle. I suspect a fair few people might have to do that. Mind you, we are in the extremely early days of a game that has just released fully on Steam Early Access. So we're going to be seeing a lot of that. Also, I should note, if you see any of these blocks fading away, that's what they do now. Blocks and debris now fade away instead of just popping out of existence. Suddenly, they gently fade. Oh, God, more stuff falling apart. Fairly interesting nonetheless, but eek. Uh, okay, well, at least we saw a bit of the inside before it all went. Um, when I build a new place, I can put furniture inside of it. Oh, that's slightly disheartening. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and fire another one of these just here. Boop. 
that was definitely number two. I'm not seeing too much of a difference between the times 10 and the normal one. Not really seeing too much of a difference, but I bet you it does actually make a difference. I just haven't built anything advanced or hefty enough to really make a notable difference. Anyway, moving on from the nice little chair, which by the way, unfortunately, right now, you cannot sit in it. If I was to go ahead and press zero and then try to press T on it, no dice. But then we have our table, so we can have our nice little sitting area here. Plus, uh, right up against that, you can imagine sitting down there and having a nice look at your wonderful fortress that is now crumbling around you. Oh dear heavens to Betsy. Also, the table, just like the chair, like I said, most things right now, you can flip them all about and place them however you like. Might see, be seeing this change in the future, might not, it depends. You can imagine somebody saying, okay, this is going to be my little safe room if they're building a story map or something of that sort. Or they just want to make an area where it looks like a bunch of tables are being stored and maybe they want to flip them all up. By the way, I'm still getting used to the flipping around of objects. And you can use Q, E, and R, something I haven't really been doing to flip a lot of this stuff around. I'm still used to the Space Engineer's way of pressing insert home up down and all that stuff on the other side of the keyboard. Moving on, we have a bed. A bed shockingly lacking a pillow, but a bed nonetheless so you could lay down theoretically and take a nice nap. Unfortunately, you cannot currently click on it. I expect this to come in the future. Who knows, maybe we'll adopt a bed as a respawning position. And just like the other things, again, you can flip these all over the place, and if you'd like, while aiming at another bed or other object like these, you can do your little control and drag and make yourself a nice big pile of beds in the uber bunk bed. Anyway, moving on from beds, we do have me falling off of that because I'm a bit derpy today. Uh, moving on from that, we have this little container here, which I can even put into the ground there, I think, for a second. Where was it? Where was it? I saw it. I saw a glitchy spot. There we go. And this is not supposed to be in the ground. I just felt like I had to do that. But if we go ahead and click on it, you can actually go ahead and change the color scheme of your character. So if we wanted a bit more uh, orangish red, up the saturation a bit. Let's go for a bit more orange. You can go ahead and get the colors you really like out of it. There we go. Sort of a brown almost. Maybe we should be shooting for... Oh, the bog standard gray, because I'm a bit of a fan of gray, maybe with the slightest tinge of blue. There we go. I like that. Unfortunately, right now they have also changed in third person. I can no longer hold alt to bring my camera around myself. Alt, control, shift. None of them allow me to do that. And I think that's because I've changed a lot of the 3D controls because for multi-blocks such as blocks with a little plus sign next to them, like this block here, you usually use your scroll wheel to change between them or Q and E, and that was interfering with third person. So let's go ahead and hop back into spectator mode using our F8 button. And there you go, you see we've changed our colors. And we're also standing the ground a bit because I believe this block has been damaged. Well, there's one easy way to check. We'll press in. Hmm, well, we can see that it's been damaged, but its structural integrity is fine because we've pressed in. That is our structural integrity mode. So you can see what is on the brink of collapse and what isn't. What's really actually doing pretty all right right now. Yeah, and I believe the white blocks are blocks that are merged partially with stone, with the terrain. So they're completely immortal at this moment. Anyway, let's carry on. I just wanted to show that because I thought it was a good time with my feet sinking into this thing. Uh, we've already shown that. I, you can, again, like the other things, you can place that however you like. So flip it about and place it on top of itself. You can't make train chains like that starting from just aiming at stuff like I said before. You have to actually be aiming at another object, but then you can make them. And if we were to press in again, you can see these things don't have their own structural integrity, as in they can handle or not handle weight. They are just their own thing, but they do all have the ability to break apart, such as that, and bringing it down. Oh, I thought we were about to have a nice bridge. It looks like it caught some air there, actually. So yeah, we can break all this up, and that one actually popped out of the ground. Pretty cool. You might notice that the performance seems a bit... Oh no, here we go again. Where are you going? I don't think you're going to Germany. You don't look it. You don't look like a bomber from World War II. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to get in your way. You're just pushing me now. I wonder, can I land on this? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Uh, can I walk with the... Yeah. I am the lord of the box ship. Bow before me. The flying box sled. I should have made myself red and then grown a big gray beard. Anyway, okay, why did I ruin my own fun? Moving on from that there, we do have the these nice little things here. These are barrels, wooden barrels, which are pretty cool and pretty nice and dandy. Again, you can build them up. I suspect a lot of this will be changing in the future. You remember, they just add these, and the way you can place them on the sides makes a lot of sense for these, though, but some other things, maybe not as much. 
Anyway, remember, just added. Just thought I'd say that again for the umpty umpth time. Pretty cool nonetheless. Wish you could more easily place them down. So let's go ahead and put a few of these down right here and then offset them. I can't quite seem to get it perfectly offset so they would sit there. I could press J so they're now a free floating object and try to paste one in right there. So, well, I missed slightly. But ideally, you get what I'm going for here. The whole bog standard pile of barrels that would be lined up like this. There we go. I managed to get it after all. And then of course we can go ahead and throw a rock at it and they do indeed break. Uh, they seem to be a bit finicky right now, but they do break. Trust me on this. There we go. Got one to break. What else do we have? Well, we have our lights and these things I find are pretty cool. This is like a little light stick with the flames on top of it. It can actually turn on and off the flames by going up to it and pressing T on it really quickly. So you can see I've turned on off the flames. Currently, if I was to take this to a darker area, let's say like down here in the shade and paste one of these in, unfortunately, they don't seem to make any difference, but I suspect we'll see that in the future as well as hopefully some sort of way to make darker areas a bit darker. This is about all right here because I'd be expected to be getting daylight, but if we were to go inside this building here, no sunlight, no direct skylight. And then, of course, down here, you would really expect it to be darker. I suspect they'll get to that eventually. Remember, they did just add this stuff, so they're probably just giving it to us so we don't have empty rooms everywhere. Because it can be a bit disconcerting. Also, these things, like the others, you can indeed rotate onto their sides. And like that, I don't exactly agree with. But like this, I actually hope they leave it this way because I could actually see... You wanting to have something like this along the edges of your castle, just to light up the edges of it and say, hey, don't mess with us. If you try to climb our walls, we'll burn you to death. Or just to look interesting and almost festive. Festive, is it? Festive? Oh my goodness. Festive. Jesus Christ, what happened to me? Anyway, you can indeed, as I said, turn all these on and off. And then you can have your own nice little jumping course on top of these. Uh, actually pretty, okay, no, yeah, you can't fall, so who knows, a lot of stuff with that, I do hope they leave them sideways. Next thing up is this, our flag, which you can actually currently place in a slightly strange way, like we just did there, but the piping, the wooden piping does go into the wall, so it makes sense, even though I think they intend for the wooden side here to be going against the wall itself. On curved parts, it's a bit strange, but over here, it makes a lot more sense, and you can, of course, build these on top of each other, and if you've lined them up correctly, which I think that is, yes, you can see the wood looks like it's lining up to itself right there, which is pretty damn nice. Pretty damn nice. And, of course, like everything else, these do have their ability to break, and you can see right there, their pieces faded pretty damn quickly. As they were flying off, they even faded. Uh, moving on from that, we have this little brassiere thing. By the way, you can rotate those flags however you like and place them pretty much any way like everything else. But this nice little thing, I think it's actually missing a texture on most of it. The wood has a texture, the rest doesn't appear to, or either it's really dark metal. Looks like it might just be really dark metal. And I think this thing makes a pretty good spot for outdoors and on top of your wall sometimes if you want your people to stay warm. And again, like everything else, you can place it in all sorts of randomness and... Oh, actually, no, I can't seem to rotate this one. Aha, oh, no, there, there it was. I was thinking, aha, I had done it. I had found one that doesn't, oh, dear. Pretty cool, though, that the flames on all these do go up. And actually, this right here almost looks like it's meant to be. Uh, let's see about breaking these. Do they have, no, nope. <laughs> no, they do not have states where they just break. Uh, they just sort of turn off, which I think is fine because you wouldn't expect metal to be shattering like any of those other things. Also, pretty cool, though. Did you notice that there? The actual wooden sticks inside them seem to become loose once it actually gets hit. So that's a pretty damn cool effect. Like, watch these. Whoop. As soon as they hit the ground, they sort of fell out. Pretty damn cool. Next thing up, we have a bog standard little fire. So if you were, let's say, out here in this nonsensical forest and it got dark, all of a sudden you found yourself in need of fire. Now you can easily enough place down a fire. Uh, not that it actually gets dark currently, but we'll see that in the future, I am sure. Again, like everything else, it does not actually give off light. We'll see that in the future as well. And like everything else, you can now place it into the wall, which we'll see changed, I'm pretty sure. Oh dear, upside down is a bit of a scary thing. Let's not look at that. But you can place it into the wall like this, which doesn't really make too much sense for something whose wood you would expect to fall out, even if you would expect the stones to actually stay in, because then you can imagine they were just built into the wall. Next up we have, actually I already showed this, how did I skip to this? Why did I skip ahead to this? Whatever. Also I just figured out, let's try something silly like this. That is very odd looking. Oh, I like that though. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, I know it's slightly random, but I just thought it was interesting. Let's go ahead and throw some of these at it now, though. And the whole thing became disconnected from the wowzers. Okay. Yep. There you go. We've had an accident at the cloth factory. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love this game. It's so derpy sometimes, but the fact that it lets you do it, that's what's great. Also, the fact that it's in early days, so I have a lot of faith that the derpiness will fade with time, just like the little pieces of these cloth that fade. If I can actually break one, there we go. The pieces faded before I could even realize what was going on. There you go. You can see them, they fade before the smoke even clears. Bit quick on those, but I guess they are just bits of fabric. And one last thing that I have to show from new blocks they have added today is this big block right here. And then I actually have two more after that, but this is like the gig, the gig, the big king statue, which for some reason has a red tint to it. I wonder if this has something to do with the fact that my suit is actually slightly red. Let's go ahead and test that hypothesis for a second, shall we? So we'll put in one of these things to change our color. Uh, our suit isn't red. Nope, that's my hoppy hypothesis out the window. So for some reason, these king statues are slightly red right now. I'm also pressing the color changer buttons and that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I'm pretty sure that's not it. And suddenly they're not red anymore. Why is it red over here? I don't quite know. I don't quite know at all, but whatever, early days and all that. I can also see that you can place quite a few of them. And I think we could do something theoretically interesting here, which should go wrong the very second I delete the statue. Yes, it's gone wrong. And you can see the statue came crashing down. It might have something to do with how fragile they are right now. If we were to go ahead and press in, nope, they look like they should be fine. Those are, hmm. So if we placed one, let's say right here next to this red spot, following our hypothesis of their color is changing because they're danger of breaking yeah that looks like it might actually be a slightly darker red than those over there i can't tell because of the lighting mm, don't quite know but i know when they're placed in an area where they would turn white they do remain their normal color so i think it might have something to do with that expect that fixed but you can see these statues do pop and fall apart pretty quickly as well as this whole tower which i've now just brought down you might be noticing some performance issues as well as some performance fixes yeah you might be noticing some performance issues as well, some performance fixes. That's because they've done a little bit of a performance issue with structural integrity fix, where you always had lag whenever structural integrity was turned on, if you were like touching it at all. They seem like they've fixed that as well as a few other things. They have a bunch of lists of features and whatnot. I suggest you go ahead and look at it down in the description below. Anyway, one last thing that I just about forgot, I actually did a whole outro and stuff I've now cut from the video, are these things here. So. Often whenever you put in a block, let's say like this bog standard block right here. So you put this in uh, right here and you can see that the edges have gotten these little bits of detail here. Well, now you can go ahead and place them in on their own. You might be saying, well, what's the real part of that? Or if you've been building mm, at least a little bit, you've probably already know the point of it. It's so you can do stuff like this. So you can have a nice big open area down at the base there and then have a nice, there we go straight up from here to here without having to have an arch right at the halfway point as you would have had to before. It's pretty nice stuff, I really like it. And then they also have a circular one here, so if you want to do the same thing, but with a circular one, you could do so. It looks a bit strange out here. I think this will actually come in a bit more handy once they give us more arched ceiling pieces to play with instead of just the ones that we currently have. Like this will be the center point for a lot of those. So right now, I don't know, but this is going to look a bit silly if I can even finish it. Aim it there, there we go. And there we go, put these in. It's going to look a bit odd here just to do that, but I'm sure they'll have a bunch of uses for them in short order. And if nothing else, it'll at least help to hold up your ceiling. And of course we can go ahead and actually we can't aim at this and press alt to put them in there like I thought. Oh, but we can apparently do that. So there we go, that works. Anyway guys, thanks a bunch for watching. Hopefully this was informative and enjoyable. There's a lot of cool stuff added, a lot of stuff now falling down on me, but yeah, let's be honest, I'd rather have stuff fall down for the sake of progress than have them worry about making sure that what they had, people had already built stayed in one piece. Anyway guys, thanks a bunch for watching again, and I shall see you next time. Oh, and one last thing, if you don't have Medieval Engineers, now's your chance. It's up on Steam. It's been released, and you remember, if you have Space Engineers, you get a discount on Medieval Engineers. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.